I'll try and tell you this joke I heard, which made me quite chuckle. I don't know how good I'll be at it, but there you go. There's this farmer, and he's got his truck. And he's going through town. It's broke down, so he's breaking down. So it's wrong with it. So he takes it into the shop. And uh, the guy says in there, he said, well, I can't do it today. He said, and he said, but he said, if you leave it with us. He said, well, I live quite close. He said, so um, I'll walk home. So on the way home, he went to the a local B&Q and he got himself a bucket and a gallon of paint and he come out and he went down and he went by this farm shop and uh, they sold livestock in the market thing and he bought this goose and these two chickens and he was thinking to himself I don't know buddy I'm going to get all this home so this old lady said do you know the do you know where 24 West End is and he went yeah he says down by my farm he said I'll walk you there he said but I got the trouble he said carrying all this uh, stuff I got. And she said, well, why don't you put the gallon of paint in the bucket and hold that in one hand, put a chicken under each arm and hold the goose in your other hand. He went, that's a good idea. So off he went. So as we were going down the road, he said, there's a shortcut through the alleyway down there. He said, then what have you? And she said, oh, she said, I'm not so sure to go down an alleyway. She said, we use a stranger. She said, you might throw me up against the wall, pull my dress up, pull my knickers down and have your evil way with me. And he went, don't be silly. He said, he said, how can I do that? He said, I've got a bucket in one hand, he said, with a, a gallon of paint in it. I've got a chicken under each arm. And i got a goose in my hand. She said, well, if you set the goose down, put the bucket over the top of the goose, put the tin of, the, tin of paint on top of the bucket so the goose can't go. She said, I can hold the chickens.